an LG 65 inch TV, um, purple lights and blue. I think the back lights, LEDs need changing on it. So I've ordered some, let's take a look. Set the back off first. Back come off no problems, screws around the edges. Right, there's one screw hitting that control panel, uh, just above those plugs, and another one just up there as well. Take both of those out. Unplug the speakers, lift up and pull down. That locates with that slot into there. Just put those to one side. So lift up, pull down, same thing again. Put that to one side. And we're gonna disconnect the Bluetooth module. Just taking that screw out here. So on the, I did watch a YouTube video before I did this and it, it didn't show it, but there are some metal covers that were over these boards. Uh, we removed the metal covers and you can just see these gray clips that are rubber. These boards that actually go to the screen are in those rubber holders. So you can just undo gently all of those boards fold them over and we can tape those to the panel before we lift it off so once the lcd panel comes out this frame all around it just has these little clips to pop off and this frame can then lift off to expose the filters So we can see how the filters are fixed on to the bed and there are numerous filters there is more than one we need to keep the order the same so we're just going to tape those together before we remove them once the filters are removed this is the base area that we need to get into these are the actual leds and it does have these standoffs for the filters which just twist and then pull out we'll take all of those out first pull the standoffs out now this backing sheet should just carefully lift off the leds get that removed and then come back there are actually a couple of studs across the TV, just holding those down, so we're just going to pop those out. Okay, so that's the back uh, sheet for the LEDs. The LEDs just protrude through the holes, and that's the old LEDs in situ. We do have four new strips for it, so we're just going to disconnect one now and try a new one, see how easy the old ones come off. The connectors are just that type. So I'll disconnect one, take one out and try a new one in. Right, so the electrical connection on these actually sits down into it. Two small white tabs at the side which lift up vertically to remove the connector. That's it, it just pops upwards to remove it. I'm going to take all of those out and then prise the old strips off just gently with a plastic tool. So these strips are on top of the white backing strips which we're going to reuse. Just pops off with a tool underneath it in various different locations. These tabs go through here and some double sided tape or something underneath it. So we're going to pop all of those off and then give the strips a clean before we put the new ones on. Just stick it back plastic on those. So we're just going to tear off that strip and then locate these with the little lugs like we did before. There's no holes in the adhesive strip, so we're just going to make them in there. So it does just pass down on that. You can see where the little um, tabs are if you like. 
that have come through on the frame and they sit in the new strips at the same locations. Connectors in. That's the first one done. And just carry on and do the other three exactly the same way. Okay, all the strips are in and they're all connected. Looks exactly like it we did when we took it apart. Everything's secure, so we're just going to rebuild it in exactly the same way in reverse, just making sure everything's clean. Uh, because it has never been open, it does get quite dusty and marky as soon as it's exposed to anything. So obviously if you do put it together like that, you may get some shadows on the screen, so it's just important to keep everything clean. Okay, the back reflector is back in. The standoffs are back in. These are just these are just a twist to take out. And exactly the same, just make sure you only turn them quarter of a turn. Yeah, quarter of a that, turn. And it gives basically the safety distance. That support for the filter. Yeah. All cleaned up, we've put those tabs back through to hold that on there. So we can replace the filters. Okay, all the filters are back on. So now put the panel back on around the filters. Okay, frame's back on. Ready for the panel to go back on. Panel drops back on nicely. Obviously you need to be careful not to bend it. It is very, very delicate. Top corners are all sitting exactly where they should be. All the edges match and the screen is flat. So we can pop those boards back in and then put the bezel back on. So the same as we took them off, these boards sit in the little rubber brackets for them. Just gonna pop all those back in first. When you do put these back in, it's easier to put the board at the bottom first yep. and then just clip the top back. It seems to sit in a little bit easier. So put it in the bottom. Oops, oops. <laughs> Might be a bit there. Take the awkward yep. Lift it. In. Yeah, and it just pushes back in. Excellent. That one is going to be the same. Lift it. In. Excellent. So all of those are mounted where they came from. And we can put the metal rear covers on the back of that now just to keep those secure. Okay, all the bezel screws are back on. We've got the speakers and the microwave module to connect and the screen ribbon cables. These are sized differently. And marked left and right. Now is that as we're looking at them? It must be, mustn't it, if that's the way you're supposed to read them. Left and right. So I'll get those popped in, get the speakers back on, and get the Bluetooth module back on. Okay, the Bluetooth module's back in. The LED standby lights connected. Two speakers are mounted, no screws in either of those. And the back cover is ready to go back on.